There's got to be a little guy's cruising pipe right there. Oh, man, he freaking knocked it. Guys, I just can't stick. Oh, he came back. I'm feeling this. I don't know why. I'm thinking I'm going to get a little, a little pipe right here. Just right there. Freaking nailed it. Oh, it is bright. Oh, my gosh. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to your channel. So today we're doing a little bit of canal fishing. Hopefully we can crank on a few fish. It's blowing like a freaking hurricane out here. I don't know how well we're gonna be able to do. Sometimes the wind helps, sometimes it just ruins fishing. But only time will tell. If you guys are enjoying the content, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Congratulations to Brett Murray for winning the giveaway. Stay tuned for the next giveaway, May 1st. It's gonna be an awesome one and you guys are gonna be super, super excited when you see it. I'm gonna do a first place winner and a second place winner. Stay tuned, enjoy, and let's get fishing. Ooh, ooh, it's a little weird. I love how choppy this water is right now. I think it's gonna push around a lot of tilapia and a ton of small bay fish and get these bass moving. We're gonna hook a behemoth. There's a carp. Oh, I got hit. I literally got hit. Oh, that's a fire right there. Oh, I had him. I had him. <laughs> oh, man. It's just a little, little guy. I saw him flash. Maybe, if I'm lucky, eight inches. Oh, got thumped again. I got thumped. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, he spit it. Dude, what a tiny bass. He freaking annihilated it. And I thought I had him pretty good because I was waiting for him to actually swim off with the sucker. There we go. Oh my gosh. I'm literally letting him chew on this thing and just chow down, but ah man. There's a lot of little bass down there. And they're actually hitting it pretty good. I'm feeling the tick and everything. Oh, there's a bite right there. There it is. There we are. Got him. Got him. That one actually was a solid stick. Little guy. No. <laughs> I tried to get him. I did touch him though, I'm counting that. But I touched him with my foot. This bait's just a little bit too big for these bass. If this little paddle tail was maybe two inches, maybe even a 2.5, I'd be sticking all these fish. I got bit again. Maybe I should try a craw, a little fat pack beastie bug. Like after I hooked that one fish, nothing wants anything to do with this little tiny bait. So I'm thinking of switching it up over to the beastie bug. One thing I will say though, if we catch something, oh my gosh, I got freaking annihilated right there. Holy crap. Well, as I was just saying, I have a feeling if I do catch something on this craw in this canal system, it's probably gonna be a better quality fish. Yeah, there's a bunch of bass. Yeah. Right? You're right? Yeah, there's a lot of bass in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, all the ponds, and this is also lake water. The bass, they just get moved down with it. I wish I was able to get a hold of that little bit bigger one that I just caught, but the problem was is I was talking to the dude, and when I was talking to him, I wasn't looking at the fish, and so he did one more flop, flopped off, and just fell back down into the water. But that last fish that I lost that popped off, was caught on the uh the fat packs little beastie bug ozark craw freaking awesome little color matches perfectly in this water clarity just has enough contrast to pop through that water clarity and get those fish to actually hone in on the bait oh oh my gosh again they are not big i might have to really really downsize guys because man if they can't get this little three inch paddle tail down their gullet, I don't know what they're gonna be able to eat. What I'm noticing is that every single time I get bit, I'm actually just doing a nice easy drag. I'm not popping it. I've tried popping it. I've tried dragging it and dragging it is hands down the best way I've been getting bit. Thinking there might be a few bass in here. There we are. 
there we are man he's pulling and he's not even big i'm bringing him over here make sure we can actually get him man i had to let that guy chow down not big whatsoever but this is all there is down there are just these little tiny dinky bass are really healthy though i mean the coloration on them are really good the water's pretty murky so you only have about maybe eight inches of visibility at the most but these guys are freaking chowing down you just got to do a super slow drag and just hope that they eat it enough to where you can actually stick these fish all right let's try to get those little guys try to just get like maybe two more of them if we could get two of them up be content with that oh right on the move oh my gosh why can't we stick them guys this is so frustrating i was reeling up to make another cast and that guy just ripped it oh my goodness and i'm hoping we could get one if not it's cool but man with the amount of bites i've gotten in here and for me only pulling up three fish, it's super frustrating. And on top of that, it's frustrating because I was only able to really show you guys one fish, even though I got three up. another good one dang it guys that is hilarious because i was actually shooting b-roll and i just decided to take a cast a solid chunk just came and ripped it right by the bank pretty much i mean he hit like right around the zone what a bummer i need to stick these fish because as the day progresses they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger and they're getting more and more feisty i gotta take advantage of this because i mean that's like 15 or 16 fish I've lost. Oh, that was a bite. My line tripped out. I don't know what that was. That was weird. It like flickered. It could have been the wind, or maybe I'm just so excited that I'm just thinking everything's a bite now, which is a big, big possibility. There we are. Little guy, little guy, little guy, little guy. He's coming right. Oh, oh, he's pulling a little harder now. He's pulling. Come on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Oh, oh, oh. Not bad, not bad. Got to turn around. There we are. Not a bad little guy right there. I mean, I thought he was a little bit bigger because he really started pulling. Get him in. Get big, dude. Get big. All right. I'm feeling this. I don't know why. I'm thinking I'm going to get a little, a little bite right here. Just right there. Freaking nailed it. They're not big, but they're just lined up in that area. Oh, oh, oh. They're lined up in that spot. Get up. Thank you for the bite, dude. Maybe. Yeah, there you go. Nice little splash, little dance for us. I'm honestly thinking that maybe these fish, I just wasn't setting the hook hard enough to get the hook to penetrate properly. It's a big possibility because the last couple, I've actually really set the hook on and they've been hooked and they weren't coming off 100%. There we are. Better fish, guys. Way better fish. Biggest one of the ah, There it is. He spit it. I knew that was a better fish. Man, I don't know why I can't stick these fish, guys. That was a solid pound and a half, two pounder. There we are. A little bit better one. A little bit better one. Uh, he's gonna pop off too he's barely hooked guys oh my gosh you see how easy that fell out the second i grabbed it the dude just popped right off not too bad awesome little fish get big dude what's up man oh yeah i'm always fishing these canals yeah oh yeah it's really good yeah i pulled a pull like 10 out down there like another five out on that side just pulled another one out here really how big yeah they're all small. They're all like little pounders. That one that I hooked right there that I lost was probably about two, two and a half. Yeah, I've gotten three small ones too. I've, dude, I've learned most of the stuff 
I know out here from you. Oh, I thanks, man. Thank you, bro. Yeah, yeah, no worries. I appreciate it, man. See if there's any little free swimmers. There's got to be little guys cruising. I, right there. Oh, man, he freaking knocked it. Guys, I just can't stick. Oh, he came back. He came. That's a tilapia. That has to be a tilapia. That has to be a tilapia, 100%. No way that's not. How hard he hit that? If it's a bass, it's a big one. Oh no, it is. It's a, It's just a good bass. Stay down, stay down. Please stay on. Man, he pulled so hard at first. Uh, he's gonna probably pop off when I try to pull him up. But guys, he's a good one. Woo! He came back for it. That's the best one of the day right there. That ain't bad. That ain't bad right there, guys. Check that one out. That is so sick. Try to get him in the in the limelight for you guys. That is so sick. All right, guys. So, so far today, it's not a bad day. I mean, I'm hooking up with a lot of fish. I'm just popping off. I'm screwing up a lot. There's a lot of small fish, but we finally hooked a pretty good one. Not too bad. Awesome little canal bass. Probably a little pounder, pound and a halfer. Beautiful little fish. I hooked up with about a two pounder probably about five minutes ago and I completely sucked. That thing just jumped, spit my hook and I just sucked at it. But uh, I mean shoot, there's a lot of fish guys, there's a lot of fish around and just use a little tiny 2.5 inch to 3 inch paddle tail and come out here, catch a few little bass like this, have a good time and uh, shoot, let's keep ripping them. Look at that, did you see that? There we are. Stay down. Not a bad one, not a bad one. Get, no! why why do they keep popping off oh my gosh that was actually a decent one too that was maybe a little less than a pound but still not a bad fish there we are oh this poor little guy freaking nailed it look how freaking aggressive they are i mean they have so much life how does this little bass get a hold of this but bigger ones can't get a hold of it. How does that make any sense? I mean, that little bass hit that thing so hard. Whoa, oh. <sighs> Guys, this little bass, I didn't even know I had anything on. This fish, I didn't even feel bite. I mean, that was insane. Kind of okay, prop him up with the pinky. Cool little bass. Get big, dude. Man, that freaking fish just crushed it. So, what was weird about that is I didn't even feel that bite. I casted it down there as far as it could go. Didn't feel a single thing. Looked to my left and then I looked back down and my line is out in this area when I was like, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. It should be underneath the bridge, not out in front of me. That was gnarly. That fish was freaking crazy right there. There we are. Little guy. One of the better ones though. Still a micro, micro dink, but one of the better fish today. Man, they're all so thin. Give it a little pop, make it look injured. Let it sit there for a second and then start retrieving it. Got bit right there. We're on, we're on. That's all you gotta do. Little guy, little guy. Just get them numbers. We don't have much time. All right, right there, little tiny dink guys. Get in. Ah, man, we're out of time, but we at least got one more, guys. Got 20 seconds left. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. That tells YouTube that you enjoyed the content. And shoot, thank you guys for watching so much. I appreciate it. If I could get one more fish on the big camera, I'll show it off. But thank you guys so much. Alright guys, so we are done. We did not do too bad and I can't complain about canal fishing ever. I don't care if I catch a ton of fish or not a lot of fish. It doesn't really matter to me. I just love canal fishing. It is an absolute ball. You can always pull a few fish out of the canal. And we didn't do too bad today. And they were all small. We got the one decent one. And we had the opportunity to actually get a really good one, but that one just popped off. That one actually sucked. Um, we hooked three really good ones all day and then shoot what we missed at least one well, i wouldn't say we i i missed what 20 at least at least minimum 
because there were a lot of times where I would feel like I got bit, but I wasn't 100% sure. But I know at least 20 times I hooked up or I got bit and I just couldn't stick the fish. It is what it is that happens when you fish, you're not gonna catch everything. But we ended up having a pretty good day here at the canal. So make sure you guys go on to fatpacks.com and buy yourself a couple packs of fat packs and come out to the canal, crank a few fish and just have a good time. And all you need is a little tiny paddle tail. Work it as a Ned rig, swim it in. There's so many ways you can fish a paddle tail. It's so versatile. That's why so many people use it. So just grab yourself a pack of paddle tails, come out, have a good time, enjoy yourself. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button. That tells me that you guys enjoy this content and that you guys are enjoying the channel. So thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys next time on Southwest Fishing.